Tokyo rolling up, Uber black Cadillac, high heel boots, and a sexy body full of tats. Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad. After her, Decisi Linea. MotoGP observer Carlos Pernat reveals why Jorge Martin will beat Francesco Bagnaia in the race for the 2023 world title. And here's the full news. Francesco Bagnaia and Jorge Martin are the two remaining riders who still have a great chance to win the 2023 MotoGP world title. Both Francesco Bagnaia and Jorge Martin are now competing fiercely in the remaining 2023 MotoGP racing series. Francesco Bagnaia has the ambition to defend the title, while Jorge Martin has the ambition to win the 2023 MotoGP world title for the first time. Martin is recorded to be only 13 points behind Bagnaia in the 2023 MotoGP standings. Regarding this competition, MotoGP observer Carlo Pernat said that Martin was indeed in his golden years. According to Pernat, if he hadn't made a mistake with his tire choice some time ago, Martin might have surpassed Bagnaia. In MotoGP, Martin is strong, he handles the bike like a bike not like a motorcycle. He is in his golden moment, I think he can be higher in the standings if he doesn't make a big mistake by, choosing, soft tires. Apart from that, when you are in a moment like this and you are very strong, it is difficult to lose points. Pernat said that the Banyaya and Martin competition would be greatly influenced by sprint race points. Martin is not like Banyaya because he made two mistakes that didn't allow him to get points. I think sprint races can be important because they are only a few points, but they are very important. In my opinion, points from sprint races will be the difference in the championship, he continued. In addition to expressing his opinion about Jorge Martin and Francesco Bagnaia, Pernat acknowledged that the pressure obtained by factory and satellite riders is certainly different. This condition is likely to be more favorable for Jorge Martin who is less pressured. It's better to be at Promac because you don't have as much pressure and it's a much more relaxed environment, young and technically very strong, with someone like Panati who knows how to keep the atmosphere fresh. I tell you that, for me, if I were a rider, I would prefer to be in the Promac team. The bike is the same. The bikes used by the factory team are indeed the same as the Promac Racing Satellite Team bikes. So Banyaya and Martin compete on similar bikes. On the other hand, Prima Promac team manager, Gino Borsoi boasted that Jorge Martin was very close to a great history as the 2023 MotoGP world champion. Borsoi's confidence departs from what Martin has shown in his big victory in the Thailand series. The Spaniard won a clean sweep in the race series that rolled out at the Buram circuit, Thailand by winning pole position, winning the sprint, main race. The victory led Martin to have an increasingly thin gap from defending world champion Francesco Bagnaia, Ducati Lenovo, in the 2023 MotoGP standings. Khabib Nurmagomedov's big role in advancing Russian MMA unveiled by Eagle FC president. Recommended by. They are only 13 points apart. While the remaining races this season there are still three chapters in Malaysia, Qatar and the final series in Valencia. Everything is still very possible for Martin to Kubanyaya from the top of the standings. I think Jorge is definitely one of the fastest riders on the track right now. He showed extraordinary speed, Borsoi was quoted as saying by Bolasport.com from Speed Week. Also read, Repsol Honda Boss's Mafia Eve exposed by MotoGP observer, Italian rider banned from successor Marc Marquez. Indeed, Martin continues to show impressive results in his speed on the circuit in series after series of rolling races. Even in the Thailand series yesterday, the 25-year-old rider set the latest fastest lap record at the Buram circuit with 1 minute 29.287 seconds. He is ready to fight, we are ready to fight, said the Italian. We have everything, the rider and the bike, and Ducati always helps us. We don't need anything else, said Borsoi. Prima Pramac strength is indeed on par with the main team of the Red Borgo Panigale because the satellite team is supplied with the latest Desmosetisi GP23 spec motorbike. For this reason, Borsoi is very confident in Martin's strength to be able to appear more impressive for the rest of the season. We might just lack a little experience, which the factory team certainly has because they won the MotoGP World Championship last year with Peko, Banyaya, said Borsoi.
Martin is getting closer to carving new history if he is really able to become the 2023 MotoGP World Champion. Because there has never been a MotoGP Premier Class World Champion who won while staying in a satellite team. He certainly still has a few things to overcome now. He's not in a factory team, but he has an amazing team, said Borsoy. You could say we are almost like a factory team, we are not red, but we are close, said Borsoy smiling. As I said earlier, we don't lack anything. His motivation is there, even higher than last season, because he wants to show that he is a fast racer and has a good team, said Borsoy. Decisai Linea. MotoGP observer Carlos Pernat reveals why Jorge Martin will beat Francesco Bagnaia in the race for the 2023 world title. Pernat thinks that sprint races will be the key to becoming world champion, and Martin is good at it. The last three MotoGP series in Indonesia, Australia and Thailand have presented exciting battles. Martin Natter, Martin's nickname, briefly overtook Bagnaia after winning the sprint race in Mandalika. Jorge Martin. However, the Pramac Ducati rider crashed while leading by more than three seconds in the main race at Mandalika, losing points. Then, he was only able to finish fifth in the main race at the Phillip Island circuit after losing his first position in the final laps due to improper selection of soft tires. As a result, Banyaya returned to the top of the standings with a 27-point gap to him after winning in Indonesia and becoming runner-up in Australia. However, Martin managed to bounce back and swept the sprints and the main race of the 2023 Thailand MotoGP. He also cut the gap again from Peko, Banyaya's nickname, to just 13 points. Because of this, the Pramac Ducati boss believes Jorge Martin can beat Francesco Banyaya in the race for the 2023 MotoGP title. Pernat also considered that the Spaniard was indeed in his best moment at this time. He will be hard to beat unless he makes a mistake. In MotoGP, Martin is strong, he controls his bike like a bicycle, not like a motorcycle. He is in a golden moment, Pernat said as quoted by Motosan. I think I could be even higher in the standings if I didn't make big mistakes with the soft tires. After all, when you are in a moment like this and you are very strong, it is difficult to lose points, he added. Nevertheless, Pernat sees that Martin still often makes mistakes, unlike Banyaya who is more calm and experienced in the fight for the title, especially during the main races. As a result, according to him, it is the points from the sprint race that will determine the 2023 MotoGP title because Martin is superior there. Martin is not like Banyaya because he made two mistakes that didn't allow him to score points, but he is very strong. I think the sprint race can be important even if it's just a few points. In my opinion, the points from the sprint race are what will make the difference in the championship," concluded the Italian-born observer. Martin is indeed superior to Bagnaia in sprints where he has won seven sprints. Meanwhile, the Ducati Lenovo hero has only been on the first podium four times in the short race.